Several hundred retirees from Southwest Virginia to Central Pennsylvania came here to Consol Energy's headquarters to protest what they fear could be a reduction in their benefits and their pensions. Michael Piskowski started working in the mines when Franklin Roosevelt was president. He's 94 now. I started in a mine in 1941. But it was an agreement made under Harry Truman. He and hundreds of fellow marchers want Consol Energy to keep. That agreement, first made in 1948, said the coal companies would pay full health and retirement benefits to workers. It's a promise that Truman gave to us, and here the companies are taking it away. How much money do they need? I just need enough money to live and pay my bills. As time has gone on, the industry has shrunk, and several companies declared bankruptcy, but Consol never did. So while they're still bound to these agreements, there's concern there will be cuts to those benefits, which is what the United Mine Workers of America protested today. Kevin and Larry McCammon came from Southwest Virginia. Cutting, cutting our benefits. They're not supposed to, but they are wanting to cut everybody's benefits. Insurance, retirement. I mean, how important is this to you? Yeah, very important. Because they were promised this for life, and we want to see that it stays for life. Consol Energy released a statement today defending its practices and criticizing the UMWA for not adapting to coal's decline like the company had to, saying they are one of only a few companies in the industry that has and continues to meet its obligations without resorting to the bankruptcy courts. As part of their statement, Consol Energy also added that they are continuing to make the best decisions they can for both their employees and the company. We're in Cecil Township. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.